guys, what's up? So I have to do a webcam intro because I forgot to film an intro. <laughs> um, but this week's video is going to be a video inspired by Caitlin Ray. If you don't know who Caitlin Ray is, you can go and search her up on YouTube. I love her. I don't know what it is about her energy, but like she's really fucking cool and I just want to be her friend. Like everybody else in the fandom obviously does. But friend group are very like iconic, I guess, to her channel and to the internet. And so something that she did was showing her friends quarantine routines because they're not together. And her friend group is really, really cool. Like I said, I would want to be their friend, but you know, can't obviously. So I wanted to do that with my friend group. And I, uh, now looking back and editing some of these, um, three people put in vlog clips and then the rest I just took from TikTok because honestly, that's all we've been doing is just TikToks. Um, so yeah, there's that. I was going to put in my TikToks and then I thought, no. So that's pretty, basically, uh, yeah, that's basically what you're going to get today. And yes, I am editing this in my kitchen as you can see there is a microwave behind me don't mind it okay um so well further ado let's get into the video <laughs> all right good morning everyone um i just opened my eyes it is 7.34 in the morning. Um, so, I'm going back to bed for a little bit. Good night. Alright, let's try this again. An hour later, it is 8.26. Um, so now, what I normally do is I am going to lay here on my phone scroll through like instagram snapchat facebook twitter and tiktok for a little bit before i get up rise and shine and i'm back i have eaten um i am freshly showered and i am ready to get some work done so, all, since all classes have moved to online, um, I have to do some ho homework. So, today I am, have animal diversity homework to do. Um, and yeah. So, that's that. And I'll update you when I'm done with this. That's later. It is 12.58, so it's about three hours later. Um, now that my homework's done, I have, like, nothing else to do, so I'm gonna go for a walk. It is very cold outside. It's 37 here in Ohio right now. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. Alright, so it's later. I'm back home. I am, I've been home for a little while now, but I'm back to being bored out of my mind because I have literally nothing to do. Yeah, this sucks. That's all I gotta say. Later around doing nothing for the past couple hours, I am gonna go to my parents' house, steal some food because I don't have any because I'm unemployed. Thanks, coronavirus. It's the next day, um, I kind of forgot to do the rest of the day, um, so all I did for the rest of the night was I went home after my parents, I played some video games, I played a little bit of Skyrim, a little bit of... Fortnite, um, and then I got drunk, um, in the bathtub, and then I FaceTimed my boyfriend to annoy him. A usual thing for me now, because I have nothing else to do, um, 
no homework today because I'm all caught up. Um, I went to the grocery store this morning for um, my friend's mom because she is immunocompromised. So I made sure to go for her. The whole Corona mess has taught us anything. It's to be more empathetic, even though people aren't following that right now. Um, be more compassionate for others. Um, because you never know, for one, how much longer you have with them, but, like, just be a decent human being. <laughs> All right, um, I don't know how to end this. Um, I'll send it off to whoever's next, so enjoy. What's up, guys? So, I hate vlog- I suck at vlog vlogging. Let's get that out of the way. So I don't really have much to vlog about because I've been working for like five or six days straight and I'm tired, but I just thought, I just moved into my apartment. I'm probably gonna show you guys some of my apartment, like mainly my room and my makeup collection. So here we go. Okay, so when you walk into my room, the first thing you see is my drawer right here. Um, again, I'm still in the process of unpacking, so that's always fun. I usually keep my glasses, my hair stuff, and my lotions everywhere. We have some nail polish back here, and then I just brought in my jewelry box, so we're gonna move that out of the way. I think I just dropped my stamps. Oops. But I'm gonna show you guys my makeup collection. So I just placed my palettes up here. This is the main palette I use, is my Huda Nude Palette. I'm obsessed. Then we have Norvina, and then my contour palette. And I actually use, let's see if I can get one hand. For some of like these darker brown shades, um, I like to use these as eyeshadow sometimes if I don't have like the right shade of brown that I wanna use. Then there's this drawer. I put like my brow stuff, my eyelash glue, and my glitter glue in here. Then here we have like concealers, um, the Fenty one, the Boing, Kat Von D. This is actually a really old one. And then this Wet n Wild um, contour stick. It's nice to have these on hand too because if my foundation's too dark, I'll just go in with this lighter concealer and I'll mix it to get my correct shade. Then we have the mascaras. If I had to choose a favorite one, it's definitely Roller Lash. This is like my tried and true, my ride or die, like number one. Next we have, um, this is my brow pencil. It is the Tarte, okay focus, the sketch and set. So on one end, it is the pencil. And then on the other end, you have a tinted brow gel. I use the shade dark brown for my brows because the darkest shade actually made me too dark. And then we have eyeliners. And then here I have my highlighters and one of my bronzers here. Uh, Wet n Wild probably has some of the best highlighters. They are super cheap and affordable and the quality is amazing. And then so I got cut off. So my brushes need a really good washing. And then in here I have like powders and blushes. My primers are back here. My lipsticks, my color correctors, and then my foundations here. Um, I have the Anastasia foundation stick. I also have the Melt foundation stick, which is really nice. Um, I would recommend this, but if you have an allergy to like hemp, hemp seed oil or anything like that or this actually contains lavender if you're sensitive to that kind of stuff i wouldn't recommend it and then i have my smashbox spray my fenty and then the urban decay stain naked now this is good but you have to work super quick with it because it dries and also it oxidizes like hell now we have more palettes my beauty sponges my face powders, and then here are all of my lipsticks. My lipsticks are my babies. Um, if I had to choose a favorite, well, I actually have more lipsticks right here. It would probably be 
this bite lipstick. It's in the shade. Oh my god, I think it's shit. It's in the shade Cava. You can't focus, but it says Cava. It's just beautiful, like like nude mauve color. It's actually really nice for all skin types, and they just reformulated it, this formula, because it was too mattifying and super dry. So that's always good. And then I'll just show you my bedroom stuff too. So I have my dresser. Gotta buy a new lamp. Um, I like reading poetry, so Edgar Allan Poe is always a really nice one. And then I have an old wedding picture here that, that is my grandma and then my pop. And then I have just like these little mason jars to keep like trinkets in. Um, and then I'm gonna show you guys my closets. Just some boxes I have to put away into our storage unit. So when you walk into the closet, I have my purses up here and then I have a bunch of other like miscellaneous stuff back here. Um, but then I have everything organized. So since we're going into spring, um, like spring slash summer, I moved all of my short sleeved shirts right here. And then I have my spaghetti strap dresses, my strapless, whoops. Um, then I have my long sleeve dresses and let me go to the other side. Then we have our long sleeve shirts. I actually just bought this to wear to my new job, but Miss Corona had to come in and ruin everything. And then I have my winter stuff back here as well. Um, my closet's literally a mess. Just like my life. But that's kind of it. Um, I'm just super busy with everything. So I really suck at vlogging, but like when you're a full-time worker and a full-time college student as well, things can kind of morph into one another and having multiple things to do at, a, at the same time is not a good thing. But somehow I've been able to get it done. I mean, I have three A's and a B. And I don't know. I mean, with the fact that DeWine wants to reopen the economy in Ohio on May 1st. I think it may be really, I think that might backfire. I hate to be a Debbie Downer, but it's gonna end badly, I find it. I mean, cause the virus is still here and I don't even think we've reached the peak yet. I don't think we have. But if we do reopen, I think the last places that are gonna be open are the mall. It's like malls, movie theaters, um, and probably stadiums as well. Those are probably the last ones to reopen because I work at the mall and I probably won't have my mall job back until the, until probably the end of May or beginning of June. Um, but for right now I'm working at a nursing home and I work there tomorrow, which sucks. So today's like my only day to like get my shit done. So that's all I have. high up in the chair gonna get my stuff from up there woo 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 oh look look at that that is so pretty oh, I'm gonna take a nice picture of that oh and I'm not wearing anything on my face because I don't feel like it today <laughs> so Good morning, YouTube. Um, today is a interesting day. Today is where I sign out and uh, leave my apartment that I worked so hard for because of the things that are happening right now. Um, they were real short with me yesterday when I called. I'm like, hey, these are my circumstances. And they were like, I just come in the office tomorrow and then they hung up on me. So I'm like, great, this should be fun. Tons of fun. So hopefully this goes real quick. 
um, and stay away from everyone. Hi guys, we're gonna dye my hair pink today. Brad Mondo, I apologize in advance. There's no going back. <laughs> okay. Samantha was trying to prove that there wasn't any on my forehead. And, and now it's on all forehead. on my forehead. Alright, it's been a couple days. I had to like re-dye some parts up here, but... Here's the final look. Thank you, Samantha, for helping. I'm really happy with how it turned out. <laughs> Coronavirus going to come out with an apology video or? Say what you will about having OnlyFans, but I was able to buy my dream house at 22. I want y'all to know that if you're a person who can fall asleep in the maximum time frame from 10 p.m. sometime till 2, 2.30 a.m., I hate you. My sleep schedule has been so whack since this quarantine that I've been sleeping all day and then staying up all night. It's whack, bro. It's just whack. Like, what? All I'm saying is maybe it's my body's way of saying, you know, you can't party all night, so let's party while we can by staying awake and sleep all day because we got not, nothing else to do. So I'm just taking it. This is my way of catching up on a bunch of sleep that I need and I most likely won't have the time for when everything opens back up and when I have to go back to work and when reality actually strikes in. So I'm catching up on sleep that I need. <laughs> I think. I don't know. because of their videos. Put a finger down if you've seen the Queen Mary B340 video. Put a finger down if you know when Sam and Colby's birthdays are. Put a finger down if Sam is your favorite. Put a finger down if Colby's your favorite. Put a finger down if you have their merch. Put a finger down if you subbed them before they hit 1 million. Put a finger down if you miss seeing Uncle Elton in their videos. Put a finger down if you missed their exploring days. And put a finger down if you met Sam and Colby in real life. So apparently the number one song that was trending on your 14th birthday perfectly describes your life. Okay, so you enter your birthday. So October 24th, 1997, submit, if it will submit. Oh my God, my song is someone like... see people going viral for the dumbest reasons so maybe i can go viral too if you didn't know i'm an author and i just published a new book you should check it out the link is in my bio check okay in all honesty i want to try to link his book in the description below ronald i love you you are such a talented person an author and a wonderful friend so please go and get his book Okay, Jenna is literally such a fabulous and amazing makeup artist.
go and follow her Instagram for her makeup page. Um, literally talented. That's all I have to say. Talented, wonderful human being. I love her. I had to film the outro like maybe five times already because I keep fucking talking and I never know when to shut up. But if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, turn on bell notification. That way you know when I upload. Thank you to all my friends who were in this video and who weren't in this video. I love you and I appreciate you so much because of this quarantine. Because uh, I've been going nuts and I've been texting almost every single one of them. And uh, yeah, things have been going fucking nuts for me. So I just thank every single one of my friends for being so patient and so amazing. And just go and follow them, support them. They're just wonderful, amazing people. Go ahead and put that out there. As of today, it is May 1st officially, which means Ohio's lockdown is lifted, but with a concern, they're going by the sections and all that. Not even sections. What was I saying? They're going by like a different format. So the first round that they're doing, it's dental and veterinarians are open officially today. May 4th, I think retailers are opening just some retailers and manufacturers are going to be open on May 4th and then my mall and then my local mall is going to be opened on May 12th which is good because a lot of people can get back to work and all that stuff um so that's what's been going on um I'm hoping this will hopefully get back to normal <laughs> and I think that's what everybody wants and everybody should still consistently stay safe and watch out for their families and friends and everything else. The music choices I'm recommending is basically all of Halsey's discography. This is the only CD I have from Halsey because nobody has CDs anymore and I listened to Badlands, Helpless Fountain Kingdom, and I listened to Manic again like in full and oh my god literally this woman has like the best discography that I could think of to this day and hopefully you know, if I play, if everybody plays the cards right, hopefully I'll be able to go and see her in June. If the cancel, if the concert doesn't get canceled or anything, I know what I just said was pr pretty much first world problems since everybody's safety comes first. I'm just hoping everybody can get their shit together. That way I could go and see this wonderful woman because this is the last time that she's gonna be touring for a while. Oh my god, that was a mouthful to say. Did anybody understand what I was saying? Go and listen, please. <laughs> But yeah, I love you guys so, so, so much. Thank you so much for everything. Um, And just stay, 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 oh my god. Stay safe out there, okay? I love you so much. So as always, stay strong, don't hate, just love. I hurry you guys to infinity and beyond. And I'll see you guys next time so much. Bye.